Hello, hello, poker face coming back with a new video and this time I'm gonna turn my old laptop table into a test bench and this table I have had for like more than four years but I stopped using it and I already drew some hole so that I can place my motherboard on top of the table these plastic things are used for motorboard standoffs you can do it like me or you can make it fancier by buying some standoffs on ebay and be a little bit more creative the motorboard that i will use for this bench is the asus h110m cd3 i bought this board for 40 dollars by winning an auction on ebay it can support the ddr3 ram and the skylake cpu i have zero idea if it is updated for Kirby Lake, so I asked the seller, and this is what he replied. The reason that I choose this board, because I already have a 8GB DDR3 RAM, and this board also supports USB 3.0. And the price for the DDR4 memory is pretty high, due to the crypto mining crisis is happening. Going for a DDR3 RAM is saving me a lot of money the processor i choose is the intel pentium g4600 3.6 gigahertz you may ask me why this one and not the g4560 is it because uh, like i said before the ether mining caused the price of the gpu cpu and memory price to go so high and this is so ridiculous currently if you are lucky you can win a g4560 in an auction for around 70 plus dollars but if you have to buy it on ebay it's usually 80 dollars plus so adding some extra dollars for the 4600 i think it's totally worth it and you can even go for the 4620 After placing the processor on the motherboard, I wiggle it a little bit to make sure that it is in place and you should never touch the pin on the motherboard like I did cause you may bend it and it will cause a big problem to your motherboard. After installing the fan, I'm gonna install my Samsung 8GB DDR3 memories, which I bought for $40 on eBay. Main memory is the least worry when it's come to buy used components, so I suggest you spend some time on eBay or Craigslist to find some good deals and save money. In the video, I did a stupid thing that I did not check if I put the memory in the correct position so yeah you should always check if you put it in the right place after that you just push it and it will fit in no problem The graphic cards I go for is the GTX 1050 Ti, which I bought on eBay from New X for $120. It has 4GB DDR5 VRAM and is made by Gigabyte. And for all the Pentium Kirby Lake processors, you can even put a GTX 1060 and they all work really well without bottlenecking. This is a 2.5 inch 7200 RPM 1TB hard drive from HGSD which is a part of Western Digital. Windows 10 is already installed so I will talk about Windows magic later. Then you plug in one SATA cable from the motherboard and one power cable from power supply 
into your hard drive. Then you plug in the 24 pin cable from the power supply into your motherboard. I do not recommend you guys to go for the power supply that I'm using. It's a $30.650 watts power supply. I click the power buttons for like 10 times and now I cannot switch it off. It's stuck on forever. Then you connect this 4 pins cable into the motherboard. Sometimes these are put into like an 8 pin cable, but you have to separate them apart so that you can use. Another nice thing about a 1050 Ti is that you don't have to power the GPU alone. It takes the power from the motherboard. Now it's time to test if the machine runs. You can buy one of these power buttons to power on the machine. Or do it in a badass way. LOL It turns out that the motorboard is not updated for Kirby Lake So I have to order one Skylake processor from Amazon To update and then I um, will return it later Sorry Amazon Any Skylake processor works But I bought this one because it's the cheapest one And sold by Amazon And made in Vietnam so after the power on the machine, it automatically put me into ASUS BIOS settings and I highly suggest you guys against updating your motherboard by using internet. In the video, you see me updating the motherboard by using internet, right? But later, it still asks me for the CAP file to update the motherboard, which I already updated via the internet. It doesn't make sense. You should download the CAP file from ASUS website, put into a USB that is formatted in FAT32 or FAT16 and update it. So on ASUS.com, they gave me the wrong BIOS file, but on ASUS.ca, they gave me the correct one and it drove me crazy because I downloaded the wrong one. If you guys have any trouble or question about this process, just ask, I will be more than happy to help if I can. After finally managed to update the BIOS, I could finally boot into Windows and this is the magic of Windows 10 that I'm talking about. When you switch to a new motherboard or new CPU, you don't have to worry about reinstall Windows or uninstall or reinstall driver. Windows do it automatically right here. While waiting for Windows to get ready, I'm gonna use some hand sanitizer to wipe out the thermal compound on my CPU and my fan. Here you can see, I boost into Windows, no problem. All the information that we need is shown here. And by the way, you don't have to buy Windows 10. You can get it for free, legally, from Microsoft. So I already put back my G4600 into the motherboard and time to reapply the thermal compound. I'm choosing the Arctic MX4 thermal compound because it's rated pretty high on Amazon. You don't have to put too much thermal compound like I'm doing in the video. It was a mistake. The moment of truth. Ah, shit. There's a signal. So, if you see a black screen only, it means that the motorboard is not Kirby Lag ready. It will take you into BIOS and in BIOS you can install Windows or you can boot into the drive which has Windows 10 installed.
as we have everything run smoothly, time to put the board on our table. And this is how our final product look like. And this is how it looks like when I place on my table. And you can see that I can even put my laptop under the PC or the test bench or whatever you want to call it. Save a lot of space. And let's power it on. In the video, the screen did not turn on because I forgot to plug in <laughs> the screen cable into my GPU. Finally, let's have a final look at the product. Our product. Oh wait, the final thing is to return the CPU to Amazon. Thank you for your service. This test bench brought me some benefits. I don't have to put much effort in maintenance. I don't have to worry about the airflows. Just by unplugging the power cable, I can fold its legs, slide under the TV table, and use it for my TV. Anyway, it's just my own opinion, but if you agree with me, and you think this is a cool idea, give me a thumb up. But if you don't think so, just say that I am an idiot. Uh, but if you are curious about how this machine performs, I will release the benchmark video for some games that I usually play in the next video. Stay tuned.